I've come to meet Giles Quinton, a man who has shunned a life indoors to live outside with nature. He has let me into his world to see his life as what he calls an outsider. Living outdoors is like, it's like riding a bike. So you can't fall off, so it's better in a lot of ways. Giles was keen to show me around his habitat. So we've got a study down there. Living room's just up there. A billiard room. And a shower room there. We just follow on around. How does the shower work? Well, I'll show you. You just uh, get in it, like here, from the door. You just gotta basically wait for torrential rain to come. I mean, you can see the gut there, and then just trickles down the trees, and I just basically rub myself clean, just like that, and I'm clean. I noticed that Giles seemed to be very aware of his eco credentials. Presumably, this is all biodegradable. Well, yes, I'm just shitting on the floor. What do you do about food when you're, you're outside? Well, I just eat it, man. I mean, nature provides for all. I mean, what is there here that you can't eat? What sort of things do you eat? Well, mostly burgers. And where, you find those naturally? Well, yeah, I mean, I walk there myself, so it's all natural. And what about your friends? I mean, do you, are you visited by friends? Do you know others that live outside? Well, all my friends, I mean, this tree is my friend. The grass is my friend. A bit of lake over there is my friend. I mean, but, I'm friends with the earth. But you, you can't really have a conversation with the tree. Or a lake, or um... I do. And what do you say to them? Well, I had an argument with that one last last week, so I haven't really been on speaking terms, you know. But I mean, I'll forgive him one day. Music seems to play a large part of the outsider's life. Hate fucking breath. They tell him to write songs. He had. Well, yeah, here's one I wrote about uh, deforestation. It's really important to me, you know. Girls allowed? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm not an oh. MP. Uh, right, okay. <laughs> trees! What do you mean to me? Uh, I, think that, I think that is girls allowed. <laughs> That's impossible. It, Love Machine? You, you must have heard it. No. Yeah. Wait a yeah. Yeah. Get it in a moment. What do you do for exercise out in the wild? Well, it's all natural. I mean, I do a lot of yoga. I mean, I'm actually doing one right now. This is just working my quads. I mean, I can keep this for hours. It's rather tantric. That's why it keeps me so popular with the ladies, you know? And do you see much uh, action on the female fronts? No. Do you, is that a problem for you? Well, no, because I'm with nature, and nature suffices with everything. Have you ever considered a relationship with nature? Well, I don't believe in monogamy, if that's what you're asking. You. No, dude. What's that noise? I don't know. Could be a tiger. I'd spent some time with Giles, but I wanted to get to the heart of why he decided to move outside. You've been living outside for almost a year now. 
Mm, yeah. What made you leave the inside world? <laughs> leave. Um, well, I suppose you know when you start to get shackled to a house, you know, you just become slaves to your TVs and your clock radios and your carpets. Do you ever miss any of those commodities? Well, no, I mean, there's a post office just around the corner anyway. My time with Giles was almost over, but I had my doubts about his life as an outsider. I decided to return the following day. So you're outside now. I'm always outside. Always? Well, obviously not always, man, but I mean, for the most part, I'm outside. So, yeah. Are you outside when you're inside? Mentally, yes. But physically? Well, physically, man, like my brain's in my body, and if my body's inside, my brain's in my body. My brain's outside, which means I'm always outside. But isn't that a bit hypocritical? No, I love animals. At a time when consumerism and commercialisation are taking over people's lives, perhaps more people like Giles will join the outsider movement. But for me, my time as an outsider had come to an end. Trees, people and trees. Outside, outside, together, you and me.